Now we will going to learn the third type of list, which is called a definition list. And in order to create the definition list, we use DL to be the starting tag, and we use DL to be the ending tag. However, unlike the UL and OL, which uses LI to list the items, DL uses DT, which is the term definition, and it uses DD, which is the description of that term. So that's the description. Um, so the data description and data term, those are the two tags that it uses. Um, so for example, over here, if I write HTML um, as my term and the description, if I write, write hypertext markup language. Similarly, if I take these two lines of code, I copy them and paste them a couple of times here. And I'll change this one to XHTML. So that's extensible hypertext markup language. And if I change this to XML, I'm going to call this one extensible markup language. And now let's look at the output that this will going to generate. So if I go to run and I choose Firefox, here it shows me towards the bottom. Okay, this is the term and that's the definition. This is the term, this is the definition. Notice how the definition or the description has been pushed or indented towards the right. So that's basically what it does automatically. So that is another form of text that we could use. On top of that, um, we could also use some other special characters like copyright. So let me try to introduce that over here. We're gonna, uh, now going to type in some copyright code. Uh, this page is protected by, and in order to display the copyright symbol, we use this ampersand copy semicolon. So now, if you look at um, the page in Firefox, and as I scroll down, now look at the copyright symbol. Um, right over here, so it displays the copyright symbol. And that's, what, that's basically being achieved by using ampersand copy semicolon. And I use this HR on line 69. As a result, you see a horizontal row running across. So that basically, those are the couple of things that I wanted to discuss. So in the next tutorial, we will going to then look at um, how you can add an image to an HTML page. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial.